What's going on, everybody? Ooh, fix my chair. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video on the FBA Capital Trading Channel. And today, I'm bringing you guys the weekly market breakdown for none other than NAS 100. Without further ado, we're going to get right on into it. So first things first, we're going to start off on the higher time frame. So we're going to come all the way over here to the monthly. As you can see, we still have eight more days for this candle to close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark up this month's well, last month, hmm, I'm going to keep last month. I was going to mark up this month's monthly low and high, but I'm going to just draw the previous. So as you can see, the previous month low did get ran through. And after we ran that low, you can see price is pushing to the top side. Now, even though this may not be a long term move to the top side, this is still a potential move to run to this for value gap that we have up here. So that is something we can also keep in mind and then also keep in mind the levels that we have around this area. 12,500 along with 12,000. So within that range is where I think price is more than likely going to be making its way to if we're going to continue bullish. Now, also keep in mind, we've had one, two months where it's been bearish. So what is the likelihood of this candle being bearish is going to be far more likely. So what does that mean for me is I'm going to be pulling a fib from this high to this low. And I'm going to see if we have any potential fib levels. And as you can see, it looks like we came close to that 38.20% but we didn't tap into it. So what do I think? I think there's still room to the upside, even if it's around this 12,000 to 12,500 area, or even if it's at this 750, 12, 7, 11, 750, it looks like. Right here, we have 11, 750, which could also be a potential area to watch for. So now we're gonna come down to that weekly. First thing we see is weekly is bullish. So now that kind of aligns with that bias we had that makes me believe price is going to have a push to the top size so we're going to mark up the weekly highs and weekly lows first thing i notice is price is still bearish not bearish bullish so where do i think price is going to make a run to we have this area here i'm gonna put eyeballs where i want to watch i want to watch this level and i want to watch these levels why because i know that this level up here has this daily order block within it so I know that there's a high chance that when price gets up here and we are in confluence with the big figure levels, I know that there's going to be a high chance that price is more than likely going to have a reaction. And now, mind you, this the other eye I have here is because we have that fib that we drawn from this high to this low. It looks a little weird here, but if you go to that monthly, that's where you drew it. We have that 11,750 area in confluence with that 38.20% and we're bearish. So that would mean I would like to see price continue lower. So now that we have those two time frames marked up, I'm going to get rid of these Eclipse because we know where they're drawn from. Everything is bullish now from the weekly to the daily. So where do I think price is going to be running from? We're not running from, running to. Short term, I want to see price run this high right here and run this high right here, which is the weekly high. I want to see price run them highs. Why these two short term highs? Because I know that if we run this previous week's high, we could still potentially just have a drop afterwards. Just because we have that doesn't necessarily mean price is going to continue bullish. We could run this previous week's high and then keep going lower, but I want to watch this high get ran so then I can then watch it to see if it may push all the way up here because we can still get a push all the way up here and then get that drop. But overall, like off the higher time frame, I am bearish, but I do think that we're going to make a run for at least 750 personally. Now that we have this higher time frame analysis, we are short term bullish, long term bearish. We're going to go to our intraday time frame. So now we're going to go to that 15 minute and we're going to look at what we think is going to happen within this day. So as you can see, we had a very bullish day last Friday. It was a bullish New York reversal, it looks like. Yes, it was. But we're going to mark up the previous days high and previous days low. Why? Because I'm going to measure the retracement from this range to map out where price is likely to drop to if we're going to continue going higher. And where did I draw the fib from? from that previous day's high and that previous day's low. We're also gonna mark up that Asian session range from the previous Thursday. And why do I mark up the previous Thursday's Asian range is because Friday, when it closes, the market hasn't been through the Asian session yet, so it closes before the Asian session starts. So right here at 18 o'clock is where the Asian session would have started, but we then closed. So that is why I used the previous Thursdays. So now that we have it like this, let's look. We have this Asian session range in confluence with this fib that we have from the previous day's high and previous day's low. 
So I already know off rip that this is going to be a good area for me to watch of. Also, keep in mind where we are priced. We also have 11,000 big figure level right in the middle of all this. So now the confirmations are slowly stacking up. And also, if you look right here, we have the short term low, which would be ran. That would give us a run of liquidity going into this area that we think we're likely going to see a reaction. So as of right now, this 11,000 area is where I'm going to be interested in based off of the intraday time frame. Now, let's look at 11,000 over here. 11,000 is within this candle. If we go to the daily, 11,000. 11,000 would be retracing into this order block again, which is not ideal. So I would want to see price continue going higher. But me personally, just looking at how price is and where we are in price, I think after this run of this high to the left, the previous day's high, I think we're at least going to see a retracement back into this range. Even if it's just a short-term retracement down to this 38.20% level into this order block right in here, we could still hold that 11,100 or 11,200 area. But we'll see. Personally, I would rather see this 11,000 area get tapped into because that seems to be the area that price is more than likely going to be making his run to based off of the confirmations and just because where we are in price personally i wouldn't be looking for any buys just because of how overextended we are so me personally i would rather see price come a little bit lower and then see it continue to push but ideally like i said based off of the higher time frame i want to see price continue bullish short term but based off of for the next couple of weeks and month i am still overall bearish so this is a quick little breakdown i just wanted to get it out to you guys also you stay tuned for that also make sure you join the telegram if you haven't already i'm active there every single day i'm active with the people that are in there in the community they're active even when i'm not active i send the zoom links there i send all the links to the videos i send just everything in there so if you need access to me and everyone in the community and, and like-minded individuals that are involved in trading make sure you check that out and with that video and hopefully give you a little bit of insight on how i personally trade how i trade weekly and how i do my little weekly markups so with that being said appreciate everyone for watching and i'll see you all in the next video